Hey kids, it's your boy. <laughs> G 
Go, huh? Chat. Hi. Howdy. Have some ground rules to review, ladies and gentlemen, because I feel like I feel like since you've all been out of school, out of class, out of work, you got a little case of the cabin fever. All right, y'all gotta relax. We gotta chill. Be here for each other. All right. It has been officially announced that uh, uh, Massachusetts schools will not be going back until May 4th as it stands right now. Things are changing, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm here for you. Oh, what's going on? Nope. Hold on. Oh, what's going on? It's your boy, Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien here for the fan mail opening for March 2020. Hey, hey. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. There it is. A couple high porns there. North Carolina school is out till May 17th. Wow. Holy Toledo, dude. Wow. Hi, Ashley. Worm Slayer. Fernando. Amplify. Maniac for bricks. Joey's in the chat. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey the Goat's in the chat. Uh, let's see. Skywalker, Super Pizza Man, uh, Boomba Bob, uh, Master Dragon, etc. Thank you so much for tuning in, being here with me uh, on this lovely Wednesday evening. Uh, so the last live stream I did... Oh, hold on. Music's a little loud. Gotcha. I got you, fam. Uh, uh, last live stream I did, uh, the, 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 the vibe was a little bit, uh, you know, uh, there was a lot of... A lot of Chitter chatter, a lot of stuff going on. All right, uh, and I want to make sure that when I do my live streams, I keep everything as uh, cool as a cucumber as possible. All right, I want to make sure everybody is in here having a good time, enjoying themselves, and able to, you know, be uh, uh, watching the stream and me acknowledging comments and all that and interacting with all of you live. All right, so uh, yeah, I have a couple of. Well, the way it works is on Twitch, I already have in the description down beneath the video player a list of rules, a list of things to abide by when you're in my live streams. That way you can, uh, you know, behave yourself, all right? And I want to go over some of these rules over here, not to be that kind of guy, but just to like, just to like get it into all your heads, just to make sure we're all on the same page here so we can all enjoy ourselves in the live stream and I can interact with you as best as I possibly can. Here are the rules over here, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like because you're not in school, you're like, I don't have to abide by any rules anymore. It's like, no, come on, well, you know? All right, we gotta relax, all right? So here are the rules of the live stream, people. I'm gonna go over them in the beginning of the live stream to let you know that I'm here to lay down the law, all right? I'm not your teacher, I'm not your mother, your father, your cousin, your uncle, your grandmommy, your auntie, your mommy, your mammy. All right, be kind, courteous, and respectable and everybody in the chat and any request for me to play a specific game, I will not be acknowledging because I'm always busy doing something. I'm going to get to the game you want me to play eventually. Just got to chill out. You got to hang out. All right. Uh, no shout outs, endorsements, or outlandish requests. If you ask me, Brian, can you promote my YouTube channel? No. No. I won't do it. Okay. Uh, don't do any. Don't say anything stupid. Okay. And also, don't be annoying. Just chill out. Hang out. Have a good time. Interact with me. Do whatever, all right? I got the moderation team all throughout Twitch, YouTube, etc. We're all just chilling, having a good time, okay? Making sure that, that the law is laid down. We're here to meow it out. That is the definition of meowing it out is just being chill. All right, people? I hate to be the one to have to enforce some rules in a live stream. But again, you got the cabin fever. I understand. There's not a lot of places to go. You can't go to the mall. You can't go, you can't go hang out at school anymore, all right? Mixer, same thing, Loopy. You got that fun. Listen, I just got to relax and chill out and hang out as I open fan mail for this uh, month of March, okay? 
Uh, Megan, thank you for uh, saying they're good rules. I think, you know what, Megan? You know what the thing is, Megan? These are not hard rules to abide by. They're not hard rules. You just be a good person and don't be annoying. It's really simple. It's so simple. Just, just don't, just chill. Just everybody chill out, all right? That's what it's all about, okay? So uh, don't mess with the mod squad at all, you know? Uh, shout out to everybody being here. I do have quite a bit of fan mail to open up and also the digital version of fan mail because obviously uh, I don't want to have people go out to the post office if they don't want to. So I asked people on Facebook and across various social media platforms if they wanted to write in, they could. So I'm going to be checking my Twitter DMs, uh, Instagram, etc. That way I can uh, keep tabs on everything. So if you wanted to write something in for me to read, you can. Uh, just anywhere on social media, I'll check it out before I end the live stream, but uh, I'll try to do the best I can. All right. I do have physical fan mail here, so I'm going to be uh, grabbing that right here, and we're going to be opening up a bunch of stuff. Um, let's see. So, Drew, you just got to play the game at that point. Like, you're pretty, um, you're pretty early in the game. You just got to keep playing the game. Uh, follow what Tom Nook says. I'm not going to give you a lot of spoilers on that one. But if you're asking me how to get the shop, the bridge, museum, and all that, you're very, very early in the game. So just keep on playing. Uh, Hero Brian, hello. Cookie Gamer, hello. Amplify, that really got me good in the very beginning when when Ben wrote like, oh, hey, uh, I'm first, but don't ban me. And then there you go. Done. Ben, you know the rules, man. You know the rules. You know how it is. Um... What are bits? Uh, the bits are a way for you to uh, directly donate to the stream if you want to. So it's totally optional. You don't have to. But um, we'll be asking what mode we're playing on Fortnite Friday. I have no idea. No idea. Um, default is always Team Rumble. But who knows if something cool and new pops up. But we'll see. But it's all good. So a uh, small stack of fan mail right here. But then obviously the digital edition. And there's also a couple of packages here. Two two as they are and there's also some shiny new um commands over on the twitch chat if you want to check those out i tried to do the best i could there uh ben i'm doing pretty good right now you know i'm hanging in there what is piplup even though it's my favorite pokemon what uh marita hello uh these should be general life rules exactly amanda they're not hard rules to abide by just be chill just hang out you know just but i gotta remind these kids that are in the chat because they've been out of school for a while and they're taking out all their little little little, little children energy and they're trying to take it out on me and it's like I'm not your teacher I'm not your teacher I'm not okay relax Mason Truesdale hello Doc Samson the goat in the chat yeah you can't really hear the high horns hold on wait 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 I'm gonna change this in a second give me a second gotta make sure the high horns are present for one Doc Samson. Hold on. There we go. There we go. And for Joey, too. Bro, I got a squat toilet out of a balloon. Nice in Animal Crossing. Good job. Uh, Steve, I don't know what exclamation mark help does, but uh, I'm sure the moderators can help as best as you can. As they can, I should say. Um, you use, like, exclamation mark and then whatever it is to do the command. So... Uh, regardless, we're going to hop into some fan mail. There's two packages, as I had said before. I'm going to open those up right now. The first one, and then we'll chill and maybe some Minecraft. Who knows? Uh, the first one here is from Heidi in Oregon. Heidi in Oregon, thank you so much for sending this through. Make sure the music is good. We're all good. Excellent, Steve. I'm glad you're good as well. There we go. Uh, and also, when it comes down to the uh, commands in chat... You can't just spam them. So I see you, Master Dragon and Razor. Uh, yeah, you can't spam them. It's only every certain amount of minutes you can. And after that, no. Brian, slow mode is killing me. Just say Kevin. I spent five minutes waiting to post this. <laughs> uh, you, Mr. Sampson, will be allowed to bypass the uh, 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 thing here. Yeah, there you go. Now you have moderator permissions. There you go. Uh, Brian, have you ever played Twilight Princess? No. So this is from Heidi. So let me uh, open this real quick. This is... Oh, I think I'm autographing this. Yes. Okay. So they, re they Heidi included return shipping, which is excellent. You, whenever you want to send me something to autograph, 
make sure you include the return shipping, okay? Brian, my son Gabe is six years old and is probably your biggest fan. He loves watching your videos. He was hoping you would autograph his Minecraft book for him. We have enclosed a prepaid addressed return package for you. Thank you, Heidi and Gabe. So it's this uh, Minecraft book right here. I do not have a Sharpie on my desk immediately, but this is the Ocean Survival Guide book that I will absolutely autograph either. If you are watching right now, let me know. It's on the inside uh, cover here or on the front, wherever you want me to. Boom. There you go. So, yes, I will absolutely autograph. And they did include the return shipping. Include the return shipping whenever you, uh, you know, you want me to do something, you want me to sign something, anything like that, that would absolutely uh, help out. So, there you go. Uh, let me ch check up here. You got two penguin villagers in Animal Crossing. Nice job, Drew. Excellent. Uh, Ben's having Chinese food for dinner. Nice. I'm jealous. Um, let's see. Uh, Doc, you, you will be able to bypass slow mode now that you uh, are a mod. So don't pay attention to that. You're good. Um, let's see. Uh, can you see me, Brian? Yes, I can. So here we go. There's another package here. Another one. Uh, this is from the great Maple State of Vermont. Uh, this is from Dickinson. So yes from dickinson in vermont i always go by whatever name is on the box there so yes we'll uh we'll go with this here it's a it's a box it's like an actual box here so yes you're never obligated to send uh things by the way always send pictures letters and whatnot do not send me things i don't know what is being sent here but as a blanket statement so here we go uh, David Saronin is here. Hello, Big D. Oh, Big D. It's from Vermont. Let's go, London. Hi. Ah! There we go. Oh, hold on. There we go. Oh yeah, that's that's a that's a secure secure thing here. All right. So this. Oh, okay. Let's see. A couple of things in here. Oh. Okay, so there's one, there's this, cool, and then three. Okay, so I think this is a three-parter in here. Okay, so let's go with uh, this one first. Uh, Dear Bricks O'Brien, please open the letter with the yellow polka dot and blue background first, then open the box with the blue polka dot background, then open the plain envelope. Zora. Okay, so open the letter with the polka dot yellow and blue back open w wait wait what I, wait hold on I see one I think this is yeah two and three okay so this is one this is number one right here okay open in order of numbers three gotcha okay gotcha uh, let's see so this is number one. Oh, it accidentally ripped oops well here we go uh, Dear Bricks O'Brien, I love, 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 love your videos. They are the best. I made this paper toy monster because I thought you would like it. Even though I only play Minecraft, I watch a lot of your other videos. And to prove it, rice pudding goldfish and rice pudding Wendy's. Could you open the box with the paper monster toy in it in your 101 things to do in Minecraft series? I would also love it if you would switch up the texture pack. I live in Vermont and I had a dog named Annie, but she died. I was so sad, but your videos made me feel better. And I wanted you to know that. Well, thank you. I'm glad that I could make you feel better after your dog passed away. Very sorry to hear that. But I'm glad that you, um, you know, the videos help. So, cool. All right. One, two. Two is the box. I have a box here. Okay. How? Wait. This is like, this is very stuck. Wait, hold on, wait. So, like, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. Hold on, wait, wait. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Uh. Oh, this is cool. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, it's a little. Oh, this is cool. So this is a little squid monster here. Okay. That's pretty cool. Just hanging out right on top of here. All right, so it's a one-eyed squid monster. 
That's pretty cool. Nice, 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 nice. Excellent work. That's number two. The box was like opening the Ark of the Covenant, dude. It was like, because it was painted and it has like paper towels on it. And like, man, that, that's a lot going on there. Yeah, that's that's a whole lot. Okay. So let me, uh, oh, that's number three falling down on the ground there. Okay. Uh, I don't want to leave the site. Hold on. All right, here we go. Uh, your face didn't melt. No, it wasn't. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see. What number three says. This is... Oh, what is this? It says October. Octo... Octopup. Oh, it's a, like a thing. Oh, what? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this is Octo... Oh, it's like a... Uh, uh, a cutout slash craft project thing. It's called Octopup. Okay. Uh, so that's the instructions on how to make it right there. So this guy is called Octopup. Very nice. Well, thank you, Zora, for sending that in. Appreciate that you uh, took the time to put together the Octopup. And it looks very adorable. And he's going to hang out right in the background. Probably like right over here. Hold on. It's going to go right there. Stay right there for right now. He'll be he'll be up there for a little while. There we go. So thank you so much for sending that in. Appreciate that. Uh, all the way from the great state of Vermont. The land of Ben and Jerry's, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very excited about the state of Vermont. Especially with the Ben and Jerry's. Brian, when you open mine, can you read the note in your free time, please? I will do. I must leave. Goodbye, Brian. Goodbye, Worm Slayer. Um... Let's see, GMC Rocks, hello. All right, so those are the two packages here. There's also a couple of letters that people sent in, so I will absolutely uh, get to that right now. My day is going okay. I was uh, I was very salty playing games earlier, uh, and I was I was just in a, in a I, like I slept a lot, but I was in a sour mood, so I made sure I got out of that sour mood. And I think um, laying down the law on the live streams and how everyone's conduct needs to be uh, become better okay uh i was playing some animal crossing which wasn't what was getting to me it was it was mario odyssey and a bunch of other stuff but like yeah uh hello mr and mrs Steelers, aka katie um hi grits howdy okay so first one is from ashton in utah Ashton in Utah. All right. Uh, so, yeah, it was a little salty. But, no, I feel better now. I, I actually stood outside for, like, five minutes, and I looked at the sky, looked at the stars, looked how they shined for me. I feel a lot better. So that's good. Animal Crossing makes you smile too much, Brian, to make you down or angry. That's true, Doc. Got to improve that attitude, you know? Okay, so this is a, an extensive letter here. So let me see if there's one I should read first. Well, I'll go with the... Um, the drawings first. Uh, first, uh, Grit, subscribe with Twitch Prime. Oh, thank you so much for the uh, Twitch Prime subscription. I don't know if the uh, notification went off in the stream. It should have. Uh, no, it did not, actually. Oops. Oops. But I do thank you. That should have went off. I'm sorry about that. But yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. So, there's a Pikachu, and there's an Enderman, Pokeball, and Switch. So there we go. And this... Let's see. This is from Ashton. I have cherries on my island from Ileana. Nice. Nice. All right. So here we go. Uh, hi, Brian. Sorry I missed your birthday. I did not get a chance to send you a letter in time. So thank you for all the videos you have been making. I love them all. About one year ago, I first saw one of your videos, and I have been a fan of you ever since. But since I have not tried to send you fan mail until now... Uh, I am a big Nintendo fan like you, and I think it's so awesome you play a bunch of great Nintendo games. Some of my favorite games you have played are 101 Things to Do in Minecraft, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and Breath of the Wild. Uh, are you going to be playing Breath of the Wild 2? Of course, yes, I am. Uh, so this letter is just to say thank you for your great commentary and videos, and please continue for as long as possible. I also really love your videos that you just talk and show off stuff that you got and stuff like that. I really want to subscribe to you, but my mom and dad don't like me on YouTube a lot, so I just watch you on um, prime time, mostly. Uh, also, when I get a little older, about 17 or 18, I'm going to start my own YouTube channel on video games, too. 
I already have my name and everything. So just to wrap up this letter, thank you so much for making your videos and please continue for as long as you can. From Ashton, age 12. Uh, P.S. Not too good at spelling or writing, so sorry. Also, could you please give me two Bricks O'Brien sticker, please? And are the characters of you out to get yet? They are not yet. And with the stickers, I don't have any to, like, send out right now. So I got to figure out a process for doing that. But thank you for sending that in, Ashton. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you were able to watch my videos and you enjoy them for as long as you can. And even though you can't subscribe on YouTube, that's quite okay. I appreciate you watching regardless. Hello, Brittany Adelina. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. Uh, Auntie Night, hello. And now we have one from Seattle. This is from Connor in Seattle, or Washington, rather. So here we go. Um, let's see. I got I to gotta work on Nightbot and all that. I'm trying to, like, get things working, as you know. It's always a work in progress. But let's see. So. Okay. From the letter here. Uh, Dear Bricks O'Brien, my name is Connor. I've been watching you for a long time, starting with uh, the Brick Show and all the way up to getting pandas and 101 Things to Do in Minecraft Season 2. I'd love it if you could write back to me. Happy 2020. And hopefully your Thanksgiving stuffing this year won't be garbage. Actually, it was. So no improvement on that front, unfortunately. Uh, keep me out and out. Please turn over the page. Uh, P.S. I have Minecraft on the PS4. I love your gameplay on Temtem, Untitled Goose Game, and uh, Nuzlocke. Nice. So that is the snowman from 101 Things to Do in Minecraft. Obviously, the swole man. The swole man right there. And then, obviously, Bricks O'Brien right there. So very nice. Thank you so much. Uh, Eli, you don't need to post on both platforms. You'll get timed out if you keep posting between YouTube and Twitch. As part of the rules, sir. Uh, I did not do the Facebook fan mail yet. The digital fan mail is going to be last. That way, uh, you know, I can keep track of it uh, mostly here. So I'm going to save this one for the next one here. This one is from Justice in North Carolina. Justice in North Carolina. Uh, do not post any fan mail you want for me in the chat. I will not be able to keep up with it. You need to reach out to me via social media, direct message on uh, Instagram or Twitter or something like that. So I'll show you what this letter has to say. All right, over here. Uh, dear Brick. De oh, dear Brian. Uh, sorry, I have bad handwriting and uh, spelling. For a 13-year-old, anyway, my name is Justice. I've been watching your videos for a long time. I have seen most of your playthroughs and liked your live streams, although I can't watch your live streams because I don't have Twitch. So if there's anything I can do to make you stream, please tell me. Wait, if, if there's anything I can do to make you do streams, please tell me. Well, I'm, I'm streaming right now. And it's on YouTube, so I don't know. Um, Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for sending that in. Appreciate it. So whenever whenever you, like, send me something, make sure it's, like, like very apparent. Like, do not read this part. So that way I have to, like, you know, look at it. But, yes, thank you for sending that in, Justice. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. Mark and McKenzie say hello. We're locked up in Michigan. Mark has a birthday on March 30th. Party canceled because of the situation, of course. Yes. Uh, Dustin, Mark, Mackenzie, hello. Hope you're uh, doing as well as you possibly can in Michigan as as society falls in on itself. <laughs> you know, it'll be it'll be back, you know. Hey, listen, all you can do is hang out, chill out, and, and get uh, you know, get through it the best you can, you know. Uh, turns eight well, uh, and also early uh, happy birthday. Yeah, it's five days early. Uh, early happy birthday to Mark. Thank you so much for tuning in and being here. And hope you have a great birthday as best you can, you know. Um, and Mixer, of course. So this one is from one Mason E. True Stale in Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. Brian, what's a good show to watch while quarantined besides Parks and Recreation? Well, uh, my Animal Crossing New Horizons playthrough, Sir Zing... Zing, hey, hey, there we go. Just throwing it out there, man. 
That's going to be a long, slow mode break. There you go. There you go. So this is from Mason, who just recently, yeah, he was back, back from the grave in the chat there. What on earth is this? This is, uh... Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a letter? I'll do the letter first and then drawings. There is a letter. Oh, this is... Oh, this is all typed. Hold on. Wait. Remember not to read the note, please. Which one? The one on the very end right here? That one? Yes, I'm not going to read that one. Can I read the, um... The one in the frame? Can I read the one in the frame? Uh, this is a drawing here. Uh, this one is... No, it's um, it's Kronk. Yes, it's Kronk from uh, Emperor's New Groove, right? It's the oh, it's the the angel on the shoulder, right? I thought that's what it is. Is that what it is, Mason? Pretty sure. Oh, this is Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider Man does whatever a spider can. Meow, 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 meow. And the final drawing is a nice mountain side right there. Look at that. It's beautiful. I wish I could be there right now, man. That's fantastic. Excellent job. And I also, I think I have a certificate here. What am I certified in? You always try, oh. <laughs> you always try to find your true happiness in life, no matter what it is or how long it takes you to acquire it. Ryan, 2019 from Fortnite Fridays on September 2nd, 2019. That is, that is a killer quote, bro. That's a, that, that like, that should be like, Put that on the tombstone when I'm gone, dude. Put that one right there. That's a fantastic... I came up with that on the fly. That's fantastic. Come on. That's really good. That's a really, really good one, man. Come on. That's that's killer. I'm just... I'm going to throw it out there, all right? I think that's fantastic. You know, shout out to me for thinking that one up. I, I mean, hey, it's true. It's true, you know? I'm stealing that from my yearbook quote, Aunt McCloud. If you, I mean, that's a good yearbook quote right there. If, if you, if you graduate from college and, and, you know, the world doesn't collapse on itself, but you know, that's a, that's a really good one. There we go. All right. Well, thank you, Mason. And I'll read that note off the air at your request, sir. Uh, this final one, I believe this is the, uh, uh, the final one because I, I went to the PO box a couple of times. I think I, I might be missing some. I feel like I am. I'm not quite sure. So I might have to postpone it for April, but there are a couple of things that people sent in through uh, Facebook and all that. So I'll check that out. This one's from Bradley in Utah. I think this is uh, uh, another letter from the same address. I think. We'll see. Brio needs to be president. <laughs> you, you couldn't pay me enough, bro. You could not pay me enough. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, this is a pig. It's a Minecraft pig. There we go. Beautiful little oink oink right there. Thank you. And so the letter says, uh, Hey, hello, Brian. I'm sorry I missed your birthday, but thank you so much for the great videos. You do. My name is Bradley, and I live in Utah. I have a brother named Ashton. Oh, I just read Ashton's letter. There we go. Um, how is... Wait, what? Ashton? Well, blah, 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 blah. Uh, my name is Bradley, and I, ha I live in Utah. I have a brother named Ashton. How is writing you a letter to s these are some of my favorite playthroughs you have done are Breath of the Wild. I'm just reading it verbatim. Uh, Breath of the Wild, 101 things to do in Minecraft, Pokemon Sword, and Super Mario Odyssey. Did you know that I used to watch your video uh, channels uh, with the Brick Show? We watch you on prime time and sometimes on YouTube. Thank you for all you do. Groot, great videos and goodbye from Bradley. Uh, sorry if my handwriting is really bad. Well, that's okay. That that's fine. Uh. <laughs> I thank you for sending that in, man. Uh, Eli, you got a really good dig on Amplify right there. That was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, greetings, Brian, from Christina, Rafi, Noah, and Paul. Hello, Paul, Christina, Rafi, and Noah. Howdy. Happy Wednesday. Okay. We need an on-site English to young child translator. I agree. I agree that'd be very helpful. But you know what? I think I, I can hold my own 
just enough to get through and persevere and do the best I can, you know? All right, that, there we go. There you go, Brittany. Um, did I miss anyone's comments in here? Hopefully. Uh, everyone is still maintaining and doing well, you know? Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Ba, da, da. Ba, da, da, da. What's a good show to watch while in quarantine besides Parks and Rec? I literally told you my playthroughs, bro. No. Um, have you watched The Office? The Office might be a little bit too much for you, maybe. Lock and key on Netflix. Ooh, that's a good one. Good one. Um, community, that's also a really good one. So also, uh, let me try my best here to pull up the uh, various uh, things for, for fan mail here. Uh, I told people on Facebook as one of the places to go for. for you know what, Facebook I'm gonna leave for last because I that might still get updated. Uh, this one I'm gonna read that I know is from uh, the Twitterverse. So, uh, this one is from Young Anthony, uh, one of the mods of the Mod Squad. Uh, hello, Brian. And I'm not gonna show it because it's it's right over here on screen. You just gotta trust that I'm reading it, you know, correctly. Ah, hold on. You just gotta trust that I'm reading it correctly. All right. Hello, Brian. I'm writing this letter to give you my thanks for all the content you make. It's really helping me and my family deal with the situation and not get bored at home. I feel like sometimes people don't fully appreciate or understand all the work you put into your videos and time, and the time you take out of your busy life. Uh, you're giving us all this content then we need it during this situation so i'd like to sincerely thank you for all that you do on behalf of me and my family stay safe from the virus sincerely anthony thank you anthony uh you know i'm doing everything i can and as the situation seems to be uh intensifying and having repercussions that are lasting longer than i think people are anticipating then uh you know it's my job to the best of my ability entertain and keep the, the cool head and, you know, just meow it out with all of you. All right. So that's that's my promise to you. As long as uh, you'll promise to me that you'll be understanding of what it takes for me to do this sort of thing. You know, it may take you 20 minutes to watch a video, but it takes hours to get that video done. It takes a lot more than just recording it. Uh, you know, I record it on the fly, maybe, but like. You know, there's going to be a lot more that goes into it than you might think. There's all sorts of other things to factor in with what I do. It's not just as simple as playing games all day. And I do feel like a lot of you don't know that or understand that. So I need you to understand that. And the people who do appreciate it and tell me, those aren't the people I'm talking to. Because I know that you appreciate it. And, you know, you understand. It's the people who don't understand that I need to understand. But they're not going to understand. So it's like, uh... Uh, you know, so I'm working as hard as I can while keeping my cool head as long as you keep yours. All right. That's the deal. All right. And then, um, Amplify is trying to send something through Twitter. Maybe. Uh, let me know. Brian is a clone. That's the only possible explanation. There you go. Oh, it's, it's sending through. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um, you should hire an editor. Well, if I can find someone to edit videos for me that wants to do it and I can train them, you know, it, it, you know, that's, that's the thing, man. It all, it all takes, uh, it all takes time. There you go. There's a joke. Amplify. That was really funny. Uh, okay. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. So I, I really thought that I could like view an individual post on Facebook, like a thread of posts, but I don't think I can. Let me double check on the gram here. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Not that I can tell. Okay. Hello there. Luke is in the house. Howdy. Brian, I'm learning how to use After Effects. Good luck, buddy. I don't even know how to use After Effects. That's a, that's a tough one. That's definitely a tough one. Oh, I can do this. Hold on. Let's see if I can pull this off. I do this real quick, right? Should work just fine. Let me uh, let me just double check here. Okay. Do all this. Give me a half second here, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure this is uh, optimized for the screen here, you know? 
Got to make sure everything looks good and looks spicy. You know how it be. Everybody distract yourselves. Make sure you, uh, you know, you, you, do, you do the thing. Do the thing and the thing and the yeah. All right. Give me a second here. And that way I can make sure that you hear me. Because I had to change my whole setup here. There we go. All right, so that should still be good, right? Yeah, that's fine. So this is Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. I had people on my Facebook page go there and say, hey, if you want to post some fan mail, uh, let me know by commenting on the post over here. So, yeah, I think it's a pretty sweet deal here. So anything that's commented on here, I'll be uh, reading off and talking to all you about. Uh, thank you, Peter, for the 100 bits. Thank you. Uh, thanks for reading my letter. I know it's nothing you haven't heard before. No, and no, it's fine. The thing is, it, it it means a lot that you took the time to, you know, verbalize it and let people know that, or let me know that you appreciate what I do. And I know that you do, but I appreciate you taking the time to do it in general, you know? So, or I can have a friend bring you out of vaulting pole. Okay, you're all talking about Animal Crossing. All right, so, start over here. Uh, from Russell, uh, uh, let's get, let's see. Uh, thank you for all your family-friendly content uh, that you create and share. Both my sons enjoy your Lego, Minecraft, and Nintendo content, as do I on the occasions when they are available uh, watching an episode on Prime when I come home from work. My younger son, Reggie, had an accident last Wednesday where he had fallen in just the right way to fracture his left ulna near his elbow. Uh, because he had recently eaten, we had to wait eight hours before we could have a surgery so, or to set his arm with pins. So by 10 p.m., he had already had a very long day with lots of pain and discomfort. While in pre-op, he had dozed off for about 15 minutes but then shook himself awake, which caused movement in his arm that brought on a lot of pain. After getting him to calm down a little, one of the nurses offered to let him watch videos on one of their monitors to help distract him during the final hour before his procedure. We enjoyed some Paper Mario gameplay. Uh, I just wanted to personally reach out to you and say thank you for uh, helping bring comfort to Reggie during his brief period of pain and uncertainty. Uh, P.S. The procedure went great and he's well on his way to speedy recovery. He seems occasionally be forgetting that he's actually injured. And you know what? That's the best. That is the best response you could possibly have to that situation because he's totally fine. All right. High porns in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. That's good. Excellent. Glad to hear it. All right. And I'm glad that the Paper Mario videos got through to him and he enjoyed them. And especially during a time like that, the only experience I have akin to that is getting hit by a car, which has caused pain for the past 10 years. But I can't even imagine going through that. But thank you so much for reaching out and sharing that with me, especially the Paper Mario videos, man. Those are some of my favorites of all time. So thank you. It's from Andrea over here uh, from Tate H4. It's a hat and time in Pikachu. It's a hat. That's a that's a big hat. Wait, you can't actually see it. Hold on. Get chat. Get out of here. Give me give me a second. All right. Get 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 uh, hat and time. That's a big hat. That's a big hat. With big legs, too. I don't and, and Pikachu. That's a that's a boxy Pikachu. I like it, though. I, I definitely like it. So there you go. There's uh, that's from Tate, and shout out to Andrew, who's probably here. Hello, Andrew. Uh, Thomas, well, let's uh, get the chat back up. That way, all you can actually see what you're doing here. Uh, Thomas drew this fan art for you as his distance learning art class assignment today. He is a mega fan. We love your videos. Thanks for keeping us entertained. Uh, from Thomas, Bob, Bob. So we have Steve from Minecraft, Kirby, Polly. Me, which is a pretty good rendition of Bricks O'Brien right there. Uh, we have Cyndaquil. I thought it said Cyndaquil. No, it's Cyndaquil right there. And uh, uh, a very nice uh, picture indeed drawn right here. Shout out to Thomas for drawing that. Thank you so much for that one. Uh, this is from Amanda. Uh, this one is from Jasper. He drew you in different series. Okay, so here we go. Hi, my name is Jasper. Uh, you in a, a more yeah y'all gotta y'all gotta help me with this one real quick. Uh, a, a more chain armor change, armor ch help me translate here real quick. 
Help me translate. Um, I think you are the best, but you... What? Animal Crossing, Brian, it says under... Uh... Brittany there with the, uh... With the assist. Thank you, Brittany. Uh... <laughs> You, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's, I know it says Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There we go. There we go. Uh, this is... Pakeman. Pakeman. <laughs> That's a great name for him. Pakeman. There it is. Okay, and now all of you are calling me out in the chat for not understanding that this... It says Amari Krong. I, I can't tell it's... Uh, uh... Listen, I'm, I'm the one doing this right now. Give me a break. Come on. It's trying to trying to translate translate what Grits wrote. It's tough. It's tough. I appreciate it. I I do. But like you're all like Brian. It clearly says Animal Crossing. And I know he's seven. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just trying to try. You know what I mean. I know this says Star Wars, Kylo Ren, Paper Mario. There we go. Uh. Rye. Rye. Rye mm, help me out, chat. Help me out, chat. This one? Oh, this one. Right, rice, rice pudding, rice pudding. I got it. I got it. Say, rice pudding goldfish. I'll tell uh, I feel like I'm on um, uh, Wheel of Fortune. I'm like, wow, wow, wow. The, tra the translation's underneath. I didn't read. <laughs> oh! Goodness. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. I am so sorry. <laughs> Can I ban myself from the chat? <laughs> The Rona got you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. I'm like, what does it say? Good to know that Brian is just as much of a goof as everyone else. You know it, Joey. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it any other way, man. Holy I you get a love out of that. Actually, no. You get a ha ha out of that one. Oh man. Let me let me hold on. Let me go back real quick. I always make sure I like all of them. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so what happened, Mason, was I was trying to decipher what this was saying, written by Jasper, and it literally has a translation for mom and dad at the bottom, but I didn't see it. I was so focused on trying to read what was happening here that I didn't read the translation. <laughs> okay. Okay, brain's in timeout. I am. I am in timeout. Uh, this is from Ashley. Uh, Thos drew a picture of you. He talks about you all the time. You're like another person in our house. Your voice plays in the background. LOL. It's like an extra guest at home. That's a pretty good one. Nice. I I've never been drawn. Thomas. Not Thos. It says Thos. I just... But I don't I listen. It says Thos. And what if it's actually his name? It says like hey, Doc, give me give me a break, Doc. It's a flower shirt. I spelt my own kid's name wrong. Okay, well at least you take an accountability here. Okay, good. Just I, because I'm on a roll here. Alright. So it's a flower on my shirt. Thank you so much, Thomas, aka Thos. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. I've never been drawn on chalkboard before, so that's a first one. Thank you. Much appreciated, sir. What a catastrophe this fan mail has been. I'm so sorry. All right, this is from ONH8. Rest in pepperonis, D'Angelo. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get a moment of silence in the chat for D'Angelo the goat?
Moment of silence. Moment of silence. There we go. From AJ Owen, right there. Thank you so much for sending that in, Owen. F's in the chat for D'Angelo. Legends, legends never die, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't get to that part yet. Spoilers, London. It's been out for like a month. That's your fault. That's <laughs> that's your fault. At that rate, who's this Katie woman? Who's this? I don't know who this is. Okay, who's this? Droko, my shiny Charizard. Oh, Ileana's just showing off all her shiny stuff. Okay. Oh, I'm Ileana. I got all these shiny Pokemon that Brian doesn't. Oh, you're so cool, Ileana. Look at the shiny Chansey. Is this what you have or what I have? I, wait, hold on. No, that's 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 definitely you. I have a shiny Chansey as well, but these are all what you have. Okay, just making sure. Okay, so shiny Chansey right there. Hey, listen, these got some great names. Great names right here for Pokemon, all right? Joey, relax. You couldn't think of creative names for these Pokemon like me and Ileana do. Come on now. Hope you like this, Brian. Uh, just got to meow. Is that... Uh, P.S. This is your foster... Gifts? Gifts? I actually love the design for this cat, by the way. That's fi that's awesome. I can't zoom in anymore. It won't let me. But that is amazing. I love the, the blue and black and white. Looking very good. Looking very, very good. First Easter gift. Oh! Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. And Joey, I know you're not you're not hating. I, I know. I'm just giving you heat. Shiny Rotom. I wonder how she got that shiny Rotom. Interessante. Very interessante. Hmm. Hmm. Very nice shiny Rotom there. We also have all the drawings. Uh, choose me. This is... Um, What's his face? He has the angsty teen phase. Not score bunny. Not not Rillaboom. Oh, oh. Sobble. Yes, Brittany. Sobble. I swear I slept for 16 hours yesterday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's Sobble. Now this is Nido Queen. Nidoran. Shiny Nidoran. Yes, there we go. Shiny Nidoran. I immediately see the blue and I think it's Nino. Why am I so bad at this today? I am so, so bad at this. <laughs> uh, dear Brian, I have shinies in Pokemon Sword and your vids are amazing. Keep working hard and meowing it out. Loviliana, thank you for the translation, Katie. Appreciate it. There we go. I know you always appreciate that, uh, you know, I'm making the videos and all that. I, I know. And thank you. Thank you very much. Hopefully you're hanging in there as well. Uh, there's one more. Oh, that's the, the same one right there. My child is so awesomely extra. Well, I won't uh, I won't disagree on that one. Not going to disagree. <laughs> but, yes, I uh, uh, appreciate all the drawings here. And if you happen to get a chance to send them in, do so. But if not, absolutely fine. That's why I did the digital edition of fan mail. That way, everybody could uh, send things in. Uh, I think I might have missed this one by accident. Uh, Kristen says, uh, my four-year-old Abram loves your Mario videos. He really enjoys making up uh, pretend versions of the game. Thank you for the hours of entertainment. He asks for your videos every day. Well, thank you very much, Kristen. I'll obviously keep up the hard work. And Grits, I am so sorry that I just absolutely butchered. <laughs> this is great, though. The oh, man. I, I'm so sorry. Oh, man. I respect you for saying don't be a Debbie Downer in one of your recent playthroughs. Yeah. Yeah, I have some uh, old people vocabulary, London. Yeah, that, that, that made my day. <laughs> that was good. That was very good, Grits. I needed that. I, my, so, my soul needed that. And thank you, Peter, for the uh, the 400 bits total. Being the bit king over on twitch.tv slash Bricks O'Brien. So that, as far as I know... Is it there? Um, the name of the clip is Light Dreamy Ant Vote Yay. They vote Nay. Excellent. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's everything as far as I know. So, thank you so much. Let me triple check. There's nothing on Twitter. There's nothing on here. Um, Ricky, don't do this right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. See, these people keep asking me on, on eBay... Like, I, I have some Amiibo listed. 
some old ones, and they're like, bro, why won't you send out this amiibo? It's like, bro, we're having a global pandemic right now. I'm not going to send out these figurines for you. Jeez. Uh, and Amplify, do not buy me Siege. I can, I can buy my own games. You don't need to buy me Siege. Don't do that. Wait, okay, so Amplify might have something on Twitter. Hold on. Does he? No, he doesn't. Okay, so Amplify is just being him. Oh, okay. Okay, Brian, let's siege. Brittany, I don't want to play games with you. Get out of here. I don't want to play with you. Wait a second. Brian gets an Easter gift and I don't. I'll see you when I get home, Ileana. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kevin's mad. Uh-oh. Jeez. I, I need coffee. I need a lot of things, Katie. Actually, I think Dunks is closed. Uh, can Brittany confirm if Dunks is closed? Because she's the only one in Massachusetts as far as I know. I, th I think I think they're closed actually that, that might have just happened today um Kevin throwing a fit per usual uh oh uh oh I haven't left my house my guy well makes sense but we're on lockdown we are on lockdown yeah so they have actually uh, changed everything to uh, only essential businesses but restaurants are still open I don't know if dunks would well, a lot of things loophole qualify but I don't know if Dunks... I think Dunks is still good, maybe. Uh, speaking of Siege, let me nerd out in your chat while you're streaming about a game you don't play. You couldn't? Uh, yeah, I can I can get my own game. And listen, Brittany, it's not because you're better. It's because I got a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time, actually, to play uh, uh, child's games. Okay? I got to finish playing Animal Crossing. Okay? So. Just saying. Dunks is essential. I, I mean, in my opinion, it is essential. GameStop is not essential to business. It's definitely not. Um, Dunks, yes. Qualifies more so, I would say. Um, Child's Games, yeah. No, no. Rainbow Six Siege is for, for kids. My Kevin Lego sticker shipped today. Should have them this week. Yes, you should, David. Uh, Kevin's pretty good about sending that stuff out. Uh, Kevin Hinkle, if you're in the chat, be summoned. Or if Joey wants to summon him. Uh, I'm sure uh, he'd appreciate thanking David, but uh, whatever. Yeah, I know Kevin appreciates all the support, too. We are just a few days out from our state going on lock. If Kev has to be home, it's going to be, yeah. That's the thing. Well, no, he would still be essential personnel. Um, I would say so for, for his situation. He's wrong a lot of the times. Brittany, I'm not really wrong a lot of the time. I don't think... I think you're getting it twisted right now. I think that's really what you're doing. How are you doing with everything that's going on? Uh, so really, Ben, my day-to-day -day has not changed. Uh, I typically go from my house to potentially get something to eat for lunch slash dinner, then to the office. So I don't really... Like, I'll go out to, like, Target and stuff like that, but, like... You know, I don't really go a lot of places that are just, like, out and about, really. So it doesn't really impact me that much, except for just not having things to to do if I wanted to kill time indoors. And it's just cold enough that, like, going outside for a walk is kind of like, uh. And, uh, yeah, Katie, with my mother's job, she is considered essential personnel and... Is direct and without getting too into it, she's ver directly tied to the distribution of uh, uh, goods in the U.S. So, yeah, uh, she's good. She's good, and I'm good for the sake of being able to entertain all of you. You know, you don't interact with people. LOL. Only virtually. Yeah. It, well, so like I've had multiple uh, get-togethers canceled and. Um, Conventions postponed, a couple of things like that. Um, she can work from home, but she can go into her office too. Her office is very close to my house, so it doesn't impact her actually either way. Um, Brian can't hang out with me, so he's sad. Brittany, there's actually nothing stopping you from coming over to the office to hang out, actually. There's like, it. we're on lockdown, but like, no. Like, Charles is going to come over probably later. So, you could. Nothing's stopping you. So, six feet, people. Hey, you know, just might have to be the case. 
I mean, I'm not obligating Brittany. She could, not showing up on stream, but just to hang out, you know. After stream, Animal Crossing party. Ooh, ah, uh, maybe not. I don't know. Brian, I'm essential. I will help kids pass time. <laughs> I'm quarantined. No, you're not quarantined, Brittany. Shut up. You're fine. You're fine. Come on. Just hang out. It's fine. It's all good. It's all all good. I mean, yeah, I'm not I'm not essential by any means. But like it's just me in this office. Like I'm not hurting anyone. Um Let's see. Minecraft? I don't know if I'm gonna uh Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna say no because I'm only gonna be here for half an hour. Brian is essential to me. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. The kids say you're essential. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. Mm. I've started my psychosomatic symptoms today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. Yeah, luckily, nothing has been really um, impacting me personally right now. So... I'm okay. As far as I know, a lot of my family is okay. A lot of people that I know are not too hot right now. So, um, GameStop, yeah, definitely not essential. Uh, that whole debacle, that was, that was awful, man. Awful. And we will all be okay, but, you know, it's just a matter of hanging in there, you know? Uh, Eli, I just changed it to be in survival mode, so you can still make some progress if you want to, but I'm not going to hop on. Um, the office is closed, as in my, uh, therapy office, so stuff is about to go down in my house. Uh-oh. Well, actually, a lot of, uh, a lot of those offices are doing, uh, tele-communication, so you can actually do video calls and stuff. That's what happened for me. Um... Let's see, Ileana is apparently has a team full of shinies. Excellent. <coughs> um, my family is safe, except my grandparents, but they're being looked after. Good. Uh, similar situation to uh, me. You know, I haven't seen my two of my grandparents are in Florida. My grandfather is uh, keeping well, keeping well, and all that. So, you know, um, did you get the wishing stars on Animal Crossing? Yes. Uh, Brittany, I will give you the stars in Animal Crossing if you show up at my office, zing, and hang out with me and Charles. Uh, Parker's wondering what time Fortnite Friday starts this week. Ray, Reggie, Reggie, it always starts for Fortnite Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time unless otherwise stated. The, the, the three Fs, Fortnite Fridays at 5 Eastern Standard Time. Brittany, yes, you can get over here. Come on. Don't. You're not in quarantine. Um, I am not going to come by any of the mod team's villages because we're all still very early in the game. I'm going to come back when there's a bigger change of um, things going on, you know. Uh, Brian, there's a Mario 64 remake on Roblox. Wow, that incentivizes me to play Roblox so much more. It really does. It really does. So I got to definitely change up the night bot um, restrictions and whatnot here. Um, Mr. Dickey, where are you? Paging Kevin Dickey. Kevin Dickey to the front of the store, please. Kevin Dickey. Oh, yeah. I should make her mod. Duh. Why wouldn't I do that? Bam. Thank you for the suggestion, Amplify. Wow, is that a cough, Brian? Don't 19 me through the screen, okay, buddy? Hey, listen. Listen. I'm doing everything I can to be healthy. I'm staying out of the public eye. All right? So. Um, I actually don't even have any apples to give away anymore, Drew. I sold them all off un unintentionally. I'm sorry. Hey, Brittany, listen. Just come hang out. You're not in quarantine. You're fine. Hi, Brian. Just got on here. Didn't get my fan mail. I mailed it Saturday. 
what what did you send me? I my I should have opened it. I went to the post office Tuesday, Monday. I think I should have got it. If I didn't, my apologies. Would love to hear you read my letter. I I think I I got it. Well, hold on. Listen, I'm gonna go use the facilities real quick. Um, all you peer pressure. Actually, no, don't do that. Imagine all selling your fruit, selling all your fruit in Animal Crossing like a dummy. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Live footage of me. There you go, Ant. Oh, wait. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. Yeah, now? Yeah, feel? Uh, I only signed on to the video now, so I'm not sure if you read it at the beginning of the live video or not. It's actually going to be on YouTube after the fact, Nicholas, so you're going to want to look at that. Um, I believe I did, but yeah. Um, back to say bye personally, Brian. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peace out. Guess who's back? Back, back, back again, again. Get, guess who's back? Guess who's back? La, la, la. How Celeste these days? Celeste is killing it, man. Celeste is is amazing. She is fantastic. Thank you for asking. 
Celeste always doing great, man. Always doing great. What we do here is go back. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. A little bit of meat and potatoes. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Dun, 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 dun. Doc Sampson, how you doing, man? Personal call out to Doc. How's life? Oh, also. Hey, you want more? Uh, you want more live streaming content from me, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I would suggest you follow a small channel called Beyond the Brick. I'm not saying I'm going to be helping out with a lot of their live streaming stuff soon, but yeah, no, yeah, no. Just so you know, gonna throw that out there. Always looking to uh, do more stuff. You know, my back is killing me from all the deep carpet cleaning. Ugh. Oh, Doc. Ouch. Jeez. There you go, Joey. You can hang out in those uh, those live streams if you want to. Do whatever. I don't know what the plan is, but I'm going to be, I think, hanging out with those guys at least for a couple of hours. We'll see. Doom, 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 doom. Ooh, Doc, what'd you get for a Lego haul from Target? What you got? Anything good? Need some water. Ashley Chapman, hello. I also have the full not-so-quarantine beard going. Got the, got the whole neck beard. The whole kit and caboodle, you know? Can you do some dancing? London, do you think I'm like a monkey? Do you think I just like, like, with the tambourines, just like... You know? Uh, Eli, I don't know when that live stream is going to happen. Hashtag no shave quarantine. Exactly. Exactly. Mason's back. Hello. The Black Widow set two Star Wars and the new City Garage. Ooh. Hey, how do we feel about that uh, Black Seas Barracuda? The Black Seas Barracuda set. It's a great set, man. It's some killer stuff, man. Ooh, late night streaming, Doc. I'm there for it. I'm there. I also did my entire kiddos' homeschool portfolios and completed our school year to have our state not require them this year. Nice. Nice. Everything to kingdom come in Massachusetts is just like basically just shaking the beehive's nest. Everything is so messed up right now. There's so much going on with the school system and yeah. Is a chair stream going to happen? If Opsy would reply to me, dude, they, they haven't gotten back to me. So I don't, I don't know what the deal is. They're just not... Yeah, we'll see. I love how it can be a wreck or the ship. Great two-in-one kind of vibe. That is some of the most... Like... So when I think of... Um, like what a Lego set should be... It should inspire that level of like creativity. And that level of like ingenuity that like... Oh, wow. That's a, a new dimension to what it is. And that is one of those Lego sets that perfectly exemplifies what Lego is, where you can have it be this incredibly cool shipwreck, but then actually as assemble the ship. And it pays homage to the old fans and all the old people that like it, but also keeping it new with new techniques and all that. So good job. Very good job on that. Stamp of approval. And I do not watch Lego Masters. I think Lego Masters is on right now. I think I jackhammered a basement floor and dug down three feet to repair a drain pipe today. It wasn't fun. Ouch. Your ears must be killing you from that. Oh, with all the, the jackhammering, that's got to be killer on your ears. And uh, Katie's telling you to just get home. So uh, London, have a good night. I uh, Le Lego Masters is the competitive Lego show that is airing on Fox. Uh, I don't know what time, but um, I don't watch it, unfortunately. I, uh, I'm i so busy doing stuff, and I don't have cable in my office, so I just don't end up tuning in. I just fish in Animal Crossing now, lol. Yeah, I do too. Uh, I find myself getting the same seven fish, so I'm just kind of like, ah, uh, you know. Worm Slayer, hello. Um... I'm not a big reality TV guy. 
so I probably wouldn't watch it. I have who I want to win. I want Tyler to win, but that's without me knowing the show. I just want him to win. So that's that's who I'm voting for. Um, but I don't have any other um, ties to the show or anything like that. Not that I have ties to the show to begin with. Oh, it starts at 9? Gotcha. Gotcha. Home. What's that? I don't know what home is. Yeah, Kevin's been working hard. Very hard. Being uh, out in the field, the front lines, as people are calling it, out on the front lines. Whew. Who just followed? Bad, just subscribe. Thank you. I cut the wires to watch Lego Masters on Hulu. Get the fire TV stick and the whole shebang. Nice. Um, why did the chicken go to the seance to get to the other side? That's a good one, Ashley. <laughs> that's a that's a good one. Um, if you had to do one other job, what would it be? So I've always said, like, my backup career or thing to do would be to open up a restaurant slash uh, sub shop of some kind. And that gets more appealing by the day. But I would probably do that. I would try my very best to learn how to cook and to prepare food and, you know, make stuff that was like comfort food, but not incredibly awful for you food. I think there's a fine line there, you know? Uh, it would be like subs and calzones and like sal, but like it would be like good. It wouldn't be the type of stuff that like makes you hate yourself when you eat it. Not like a not like a Domino's pizza, you know, like it would be something that like tastes good and you feel relatively good, you know. Uh, B Sav's bed and breakfast. It wouldn't be a bed and breakfast. It'd be it'd be like a, a sandwich slash dinner place, you know. Subs O'Brien. There you go. It'd be pizzas and stuff, too. Uh, let's see. Brian, want, want to see what the footprint of my house is going to be? You could. You totally could. Um, I have a Roku at my house. I don't have a fire stick. I just have a Roku. da 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 So, yeah, that's, that's what I would probably do. Like, homemade light soul food. Yeah. So, like, I, I have this idea for how I'd make a really killer poutine ever since I've come back from Canada and I've seen how poutine is prepared. And I'm like, all right, I feel like I could do this better and more, like, Americanized for what I would want. And to me, the secret, and it's it's not traditional poutine. I'm not Canadian. I'm not from Canada, obviously. And it's a very Canadian thing. But to me, when I had... Um, who just subscribed? Uh, Mr. Mr. Sonic Chaser, thank you so much for subscribing. The prime time? Well, prime time, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, one of these days, I'm going to get you with a good one. Thank you so much. Um, so, like, I think the secret to poutine would be... Because, you know, it's obviously, in case you don't know, uh, it's french fries with gravy cheese curds. It's typically poutine. And instead of doing regular fries, I would do steak fries. Because when I had it in Canada, the gravy made the, uh, the fries too soggy. And it didn't take to... The gravy didn't take to the fries very well. So I would use steak fries. That way it's more potato, less fried and it doesn't get as soggy. It's more of a filling meat. You don't need to have, you know, it'd be more like that. And I'm not a big cheese curds kind of guy. So I would probably spice it up that way and do something different. But I don't really know. Double fry them too. Well, so I would double fry them. But the thing is, like, so last night I could have got, or the night before, was it last night? It was last night. I could have got cheese fries. And I don't know how to describe them. But there's a certain type of fry not like uh, uh, sweet potato fries or anything like that. Like there's your typical like McDonald's fry, okay? Then you have steak fries, and there's another type of fry. It might be double fried actually is the style. I'm not sure what it's called, 
but I just call them the good fries when they're especially flaky and crunchy on the outside. And those ones are really, really, really good, right? I would, I would have gotten it with the cheese on top and not crinkle cut, but I don't know what it's, it's like in the shape of regular fries or a little bit like they're just flaky. They're so, they're so good. So I would get that with the, with the, the cheese. But the thing is on the fries, there's still the oil from coming out of the oiler. The, the, the deep fryer rather so I would instead take that shake it in a bag get all the grease off then put the fries on it so like you're not taking away from the flavor of the fries and the cheese fries but it's a little bit healthier like a little 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 bit and like little things like that that could add up to make it taste better but not like I think I'm going into cardiac arrest you know there's a fine line there, you know? I'm going super in-depth because I've thought about this a lot, a lot. And I would do so many different types of pizza that, like, not even, like, a lot of types of pizza, but pizza varieties that, like, they just smack. They just hit. Like, 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 so good, you know? Like a double fry extra potato, take the grease out. Like, the grease, like, like, I've never eaten grease and been like, bro, like I'm not no I'm not doing that you know but I would want to have it so that it tastes good and doesn't make you feel like garbage I have a restaurant that only has like four options that are seasonal but that's the thing because if you go pro tip ladies and gentlemen pro tip I'm gonna mute the music for this one when you go to a restaurant and you see seven bajillion things on the menu that's not a good sign because all those different meals have all sorts of different ingredients and qualifications and things that make those those things there, right? How often does somebody order this incredibly obscure salad? Okay, those ingredients are probably sitting there for so long and are not fresh or maybe are not they're expired or something. So when you go to Cheesecake Factory and you see 7,000 different options, unless you're getting something fair weather on the menu, you could be in trouble. So you got to stick with the normal stuff. So you're only having a very specific set of options, but those options can be used in different ways and taste different and good. Like that's the philosophy I think behind like cooking. I'm not, I'm not a cook. My mother doesn't let me cook. She hates when I cook because I make a mess and I don't clean up and blah, 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 blah. Right. But uh, if I had my own means and you know, that's what I would do. What's your favorite restaurant? So there's a couple. The one that's closest to me, I'm not going to tell you the name of because it's close, but there's an Italian restaurant by me that is very, 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 very good. And I always get the chicken parmesan with homemade fusilli. And it is like literally out of this, this galaxy good. And like every time I go, I get the same exact thing. And I'm like, I'm sorry I get the same thing. I, It's just so good. And he's like, no, 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 you're good. You're, it's a, you like it and you like it and that's fine. Like it, it's just, it's literally that good. That chicken parm in the north end though, Brittany, that food was not that good. Don't tell Ricky, that food was not that good. Da, 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 da. Mm. Let me guess, they have like 15 options, that's it. Uh, yeah, it, it's close. So the menu could be on two pages not four you know i made chicken parm tonight nice um i only had it that once on your birthday you've never had chicken parm otherwise Brittany. well see you wouldn't know this i don't know you're uh you're, you're not italian so i'd have to uh i'd have to inform you oh you have okay well listen i don't i don't know we need to start a restaurant we do we do need to start a restaurant you only consume chicken fair Diners are the only places I can accept with six pages of menus. You know what? Exactly. Exactly. That is totally fine. That is acceptable because there's so many varieties of things, but... And, like, I there's, there's so much I would want to do. Like, I would love to cook and experiment, and, like, I, I swear that'd be an entire, like, like, Thursday live stream would be, like, just me experimenting in the kitchen and just messing around. You know, being like, ah, we'll see what we pop up. Ah, ah. You know, that's what I would want to do. Can I be a part of this restaurant? Absolutely. Totally. 
Cooking is an art, so it's fun. And grits, I can't do it. My mother won't let me cook. She gets, I, I made, I made, and I don't care about calling her out. She knows it. She is so, clean, like, uh, there's not enough family-friendly words to describe how clean freak she is. She, I made a cake New Year's Eve, and it was the, like the only handmade thing I made all year, and she was looking at me like, So, no, I can't cook. Like, I, I just can't. Um, I didn't say grits. It was... Oh, that was the name of somebody in the chat. But, yes, uh, gr <laughs> grits are good, too. Uh, Italian mothers, they'll never let anyone else cook. Oh, no, she's Greek. She's not Italian. No, 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 no. And she doesn't cook. So, it's, that has nothing to do with it, Joey. So, yeah. But, like, I want to I try it. You know, I, I want to just experiment. Just let me do it. You know? Just, I'm... Hey. So I'll get my uh, I'll get my vengeance one day. I'll cook so much, and hopefully it'll be good. Got to make rice pudding, of course, and chicken parm and all that. So yeah, I know it was someone named. I know it was someone's name. I just love grits. Fair. No, I I I appreciate that you are saying your love for grits. Your future wife will love it. She'll either love it or hate it. Like I I. You know that that's one of the uh, allegedly what all what all the women I have uh, heard say is that they love a man who can cook. Well, I can't cook yet, but I will. But I will, ladies. I will. Ryan, next stream, can you spot me some apples? Only fruit I don't have. I got you. I got most of the cooking experience in Boy Scouts and outside of a microwave oven. I cook seldom or waffles from a mix, never the same twice. Joey, if you if you focused like 50% of the energy, you focus on Lego to cooking, you could open up a four-star Michelin restaurant overnight. And I'm not kidding. You could absolutely do it. Trust me. I believe in you. Yes, I can hook you up later. Hello, JD Stink. Kevin can't cook. I don't care. He makes good pancakes. I, I, can, I can make pancakes too. That's fine. We all have our thing that we're good at. And I'm just saying, Joey, I believe in you. Joey, we can open up our own sub shop, man. Well, that's what we'll do. You'll be a part of the whole shebang. That's what it'll be. So, I uh, I plan on... I should probably... I'm probably going to be up late tonight. I slept so much. I was so tired the past five days. Exhausted. Exhausted isn't even the word, dude. I slept so much yesterday. So where do you buy your subs? Um, I usually like rotate between a couple places, but Brian, do you still use the word risk it for the biscuit? Of course. Um, yeah, Drew, if you had any other social media, you could contact me, but you said you don't. Brian, what's your favorite type of food other than Italian? I really like Chinese food, but it's very salty. It's very salty, salty, salty stuff. Like, uh, there's a place by me that has some of the best um, chicken lo mein. Like, so, oh my goodness gracious, bro. Oh, so good. And my favorite is chicken fingers. I love chicken fingers. But the thing is, it's just a small piece of chicken and, and like, dipped in batter and fried. But they're so good. Uh, and like now that like I can see the grease, like if I take a paper towel and just like squish it and I see all the grease come out, I'm like, ah, oh. you know. Then Drew, yeah, contact me through Facebook, through the Facebook page. Can I be a part? I'll be the guy that stands at the door and tells people they must be wearing fancy clothes to enter. There you go, Mason. Yeah, you're in. You're in, buddy. And luckily, uh, Chili's is uh, uh, fairly simple, Katie. So you can just pop that in a crock pot and you're good. It's a good one. I've not heard you say Audi 5000 in a while. I try to keep it spicy. You want to say different things different times, you know? I'm, a, I'm like, a, okay. Can I? Let me. Ladies and gentlemen. Some next. Next. I, I nearly. I... I nearly 
was going to have a mental lapse in Wegmans before everything hit the fan. Let me tell you, next level, next level food from Wegmans right now. Take yourself up to the prepared food section. You know, you could get yourself pizza, chicken fingers, get some lo mein, some uh, mochi balls, right? You could get yourself a salad, a sub. The best thing up there, ladies and gentlemen, go to the soup section. The rotisserie chicken noodle soup from Wegmans. Ah! Ah! I went to Wegmans before everything locked down. And they were out. I nearly, I nearly started crying. I, I, I was close. I was, so, I was close to having a mental breakdown in, in Wegmans. Like, I was like, why is this happening? If, if the world... It's going to collapse. Just give me like a large container of this soup to have for dinner. And like usually with soup, you're like, oh, it's gross. I don't want to eat it because I'm sick. And, oh, uh, uh. This soup is not that salty. The chicken in there is just mm -mm. and the noodles are like a, a thicker noodle that is not just some like, oh, oh, oh man, it's so good. So good. Makes me angry thinking about that I don't have it. That's how good it is. Not the tofu. The barbecue tofu at Wegmans is a strong no-go. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a tofu kind of guy. No, 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 no. Jasper wants to know, it's your favorite game of all time. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. That'll be the last game I ever play as a uh, farewell for me doing this online video game playthrough thing. So if you see that playthrough go live anywhere on the internet... You'll know it's over, but I don't plan on playing it anytime soon. Trust me. I would have to go behind the camera and point stuff up in the background, and that's a massive pain in the butt razor. So no, I'm not going to do that. But man, man, you'll play Halo first, right? Hey, listen. Okay. I actually had to delete Halo 5 to make room for um, Subnautica. Charles was playing earlier. Yeah, barbecue tofu, that just sounds like a bad combination. Oh, I, I don't know about that one, man. I don't know. Let me just see real quick. And I saw a custom switch in the background. No, so this switch is just a cover for the switch. Brittany Adelina subscribed with Twitch Prime, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only. Well, you know, like, okay, so Brick So Brittany is the fictitious girlfriend that I will have one day. This is Brittany, not Brick So Brittany, but for the sake of the, okay, this is, you got some high points in the chat for Brittany. There we go. Now, she'd get even more high horns if she just came over to hang out with me and Charles. That's beside the point. That's beside the point. Okay. Hey, do you have the new Pirates of uh, Barracuda Bay set yet? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm not just too good. I'm not beyond the brick. I'm not any of these people, okay? I'm not, okay? I'm not any of these people. So, no. Not yet. Uh, this is just a cover. It's just a cover for the Switch. That's all it is. There you go. I actually really don't like this. I really, I like the look. I hate the function of it. It's just stupid. I like that it covers up the switch, but like, oh yeah, message me on Facebook if you want, Drew. Have a good night. Okay, so now that Kevin is getting home, Katie will be with her husband once again, thankfully. Um... I'm going to get out of here, man. I'm going to go probably get something to eat, record a couple of videos, do the thing that I do best. Um, because, you know, that's what I do. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate you being here for fan mail on Wednesday. 
the next time I see you is going to be on Friday for Fortnite Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yo, Brian, how are you, dude? This is only stream I'll be able to watch this week. I'm doing good. But yes, I'll be doing even better once I'm recording more videos for all you. Shout out to everybody for being in the chat. Heroic one, I'm literally leaving right now. But I love you. Thank you for being here, man. Shout out to Kevin and Heroic One, Mr. and Mrs. Steelers, a.k.a. Katie. Doc Samson Grits, Maniac for Bricks, Brittany Adelina Brady Jensen, Boomba Bob, e -logger, Maniac for Bricks, Mason Truesdale, Amplify. See you all later. Hey, so I'm going to do some Animal Crossing stuff. Uh, if it, I'm going to try to figure out who needs what. I'm going to do the best I can. Because I did have to trade in a lot of fruit, but we'll see what I can do. So, again, I'll see you Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Fortnite Fridays at 5. Hey, I'm just going to recommend to you right now, chat. It's going to be a good time if you're subscribed to me on Twitch Prime. Not saying I'm, I'm going to be doing a giveaway based on something in Fortnite. And being a Twitch Prime subscriber will help with that. But just saying. If you've ever thought about supporting the channel via subscription on Twitch, go for it gonna help you win something soon love you all good night audi 5000 meow meow